Hello guys, what's going on? So this is Robocation again. In this video today, we will see difference between Ubuntu desktop and Ubuntu servers and which ISO you have to download. So number one, now kernel. Let's talk about kernel. Now Linux is a kernel. Ubuntu using their customized kernel, but uh, there are same kernel on Ubuntu desktop and Ubuntu servers. So that's no make any difference about uh, kernels. Now let's talk about services. Now Ubuntu desktop has a service like LightDM. Now what is LightDM? LightDM is a this uh, login manager when you fire up Ubuntu and there is a password you have to just put up a password so that called LightDM and it is not available in Ubuntu server now you can install it but there is no default LightDM in Ubuntu servers you have to manually type a password and username in Ubuntu servers Now let's talk about Xorg. Now Ubuntu has a defaultly enabled Xorg server. Now what is Xorg? Xorg is a display is display driver things. So whenever you uh, open up a Unity or GNOME, anything else. Now GNOME runs on a Wayland also, but it also has an Xorg. So Xorg is a G is it, it, it is which help Ubuntu to display some Windows GUI. Now there are no default enabled SSH server on Ubuntu desktop. Now what is SSH? It is secure shell. When you have to transfer a file between uh, two computers or you have to operate a computer on another location like TeamViewer but there is no GUI. Uh, in TeamViewer it, it has a GUI but in SSH you have to everything done with a shell script so, and a shell also. There is a bash shell and other things. Now Ubuntu servers has already built in SSH server enabled when you boot up you can ha uh, you can uh, connect with Ubuntu server and then access using SSH now another service is MySQL Apache PHP which are built in in Ubuntu server but there are no built in default in Ubuntu desktop now you can install Ubuntu Apache and uh, PHP default in Ubuntu desktop also but default services are not enabled in Ubuntu desktop. GUI versus CLI. Now Ubuntu desktop has a GUI. You can handle a G you can handle a windows to drag somewhere and you can have uh, dialogues, buttons, everything. But in Ubuntu servers, defaultly there is no GUI. Let's talk about applications. So Ubuntu desktop has a built-in VLC, Firefox, Nautilus, Terminal, everything is a GUI. We have a Wi-Fi menu to select Wi-Fi network devices or Wi-Fi networks or you can mute or Bluetooth but there is no G there is no applications default GUI in Ubuntu servers. Ubuntu servers has Apache, PHP, MySQL or we can say that we we talk in services like SSH server, there are firewalls and another networking tools like Nmap and uh, NetHawks, CLI, Wireshark and others. Now let's talk about easy versus hard. Now Ubuntu desktop is easy for beginners but Ubuntu server is hard for beginners. Now both are useful at their own places. Ubuntu servers are basically used for servers and Ubuntu desktop are basically used for laptop, desktop. At the last question, which one you have to download? Now it's a simple question. You have to download if you are a beginner and you are a programmer or you are talking about GUI, there is only one thing Ubuntu desktop and if you are a server administration or you want to learn something about server and you have to just learn about Linux then Ubuntu server are the best thing. If you have any question let me know in the comment section and another video on Linux are coming on which Linux is best or fast or we can say more responsive with which display manager you have to use and another video is on Linux uh, different type of distros Arch Linux, Manjaro, Ubuntu or we can say Debian or open open source or other th other distros so thank you guys for watching and talk to you in the next one